What's up guys and welcome back. So, um, pretty much I tried to do this video while I was doing it, but it just didn't turn out. So, I'll give you a run through of what to do when putting a cam belt on a motor and the easiest trick I've found. So, if you're not sure, when you, there is a mark here and a mark here on your cam pulleys. There is also a line there. So when you put it on, this is Gates Racing Cam Belt, which is a pain in the ass to install. So if that line lines up, that dot lines up with that line, and that line lines up with that line. Over here, you have the same situation. Tensioners. These are a cunt. So there's a hole here. Now, normally this is a stud, uh, mine have been snapped off, and we put a bolt in it, and I've seen bolts run in them before, so I've got no concerns about running a bolt. Um, pretty much, torque that cunt to 30 newton meters once you're done, both of these are 30. Um, this little notch will sit around here, so this swings on a pivot, I don't know if I'll be able to, oh yeah, you'll be able to see, there's a spring up in there, which is loading it up. So you line your top two up, you line your bottom ones up, which yes I know it is currently sitting out of this notch to that notch because I haven't, I've been rocking this back and forth to get these on. So the advantage of doing a bolt over a stud is that when you, all you do is you crack this off a little bit, you swing it around using a screwdriver or whatever you need, whatever way works for you, screwdriver, allen key, you swing it right round to it. It comes all the way up, you tighten the nut up, bolt up, and it stays there. You don't have to fight it, you don't have to jerry-rig bloody bits of cable tie to allen keys and that kind of stuff. So, that's a big bonus um, to doing it. And then what you do is you simply line the top two up here, up, line, do the bottom, this side first, Make sure your lines are all lined up, so that one to that one, and then it won't fit perfectly, but you can rock this, I don't know if I'll be able to show it that easily, but this here rocks, see? So that little bit of movement you've got is because you haven't got the tension on the belt, because this tensioner hasn't been set. So that allows me to rock this to get this on, and now I set my tension. So you just release the spring, push that round until these are tight. See that one there is quite firm. This one here is quite loose. So you got to take this out, there'll be a little slack down here, you take that out, and your cam belt's done. So pretty much if you're doing the cam belt, new tensioners, um, might as well do the water pump while it's off. So, the entire kits you buy set you back about $360, $380 for an OEM spec kit. Um, tensioners doesn't matter, they're, all tensioners are the same really, it just comes down to what bearings are inside them. Um, water pumps, I'm just running the GMB water pump there, which is an OEM spec pump, I don't know, I, you can probably buy higher flow pumps and all that kind of crap. Um, but pretty much, if you're doing it, do everything you you can behind this plate, behind the cam belt, the cover, all that stuff. Um, doesn't hurt to buy oil pump gaskets. Now that I've found a good supplier in New Zealand who sells them, um, I've actually ordered half a dozen to keep them on the wall because there's a few motors coming around. So... Yeah, hope that helps you guys. Um, the bolt idea is really good. Um, I know a lot of people have the issue with snap studs, and it actually makes it a thousand times easier using a bolt. Um, I've heard people say lock tight them in, but if you follow the torque specs from factory, then you're sweet. I'll leave it in the comments below the torque specs for those and your bolts up here. Um, I'll find it and add it all in. 
But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.